One of the gifts of life is the ability to experience pleasure. When we come across something we like, a message travels to the reward center of our brain, and we experience pleasure. Our brains are finely tuned machines. Inside, cells called neurons are constantly communicating to shape how we think, feel, and act. Let's eavesdrop on their conversation. These are the ends of two neurons. The one on the right sends a message, and the one on the left receives it. At first, they look connected, but they are actually separated by a tiny space called a synapse, where messages are relayed. What we'll see next is how we normally experience pleasure. The sending neuron contains dopamine, the brain's pleasure chemical. When something good happens to us, this feel-good chemical is released into the synapse, where it connects with receptors. There, dopamine activates the receiving neuron, which, in turn, conveys the message onto the next neuron, creating a chain reaction that produces pleasure. After the message is sent, dopamine is recycled by transporters to be reused. This conversation repeating itself again and again gives us the feeling of pleasure. When dopamine connects with receptors, we feel good. To understand why meth is so addictive, let's think about the everyday things that give us pleasure. There are wonderful experiences like being on stage or you know, winning in a tennis tournament. Um, but it's not immediate. It doesn't involve immediate gratification. Okay, if I, if I look at times that I've been really happy or really pleased about something, flying, going out with friends, the, the normal things that, that people derive pleasure from, I had all of those things. On Friday nights, we would all sit around and watch TV and order pizza and stuff like that. My sisters and me and my mom, dad. So yeah, there was, good, there was always good family times, you know? When I could spend time with my kids, and just being with my kids. Singing, dancing, go camping, and we go fishing. Flew my hang glider off a 5,000 foot cliff. Water skiing, water sports. Those were highs for me. Nothing's ever came close to the feeling of meth. Dopamine makes us feel good, and lots of everyday things cause dopamine to flow. But meth, a synthetic toxic substance, unnaturally raises dopamine levels. Nothing else in life leads to such a massive release of dopamine and intense surges of pleasure. And I just figured out how to make so much money. I can get, I can get the weed today. I don't have the weed. But the point is, we can get it. Oh, so you need my car. The first time, it was like being like Superman. Flying. You feel like you're so gorgeous. Instantly happy. Mind-blowing. In a blast of, like, energy. Call you Hi. Hi, Mac. How you doing? I like the dress. The flowers it really blings out the flower in you. It blings it out. <laughs> oh. As we all know, the high comes at a price.